It's time for us to talk about Ho Chi Minh, the first president of Vietnam. Ho Chi Minh is the politician who has had the biggest influence on Vietnam since the 20th century. He was selected in top 100 persons who affected the world in the 20th century. He brought communism to Vietnam and established the Democratic Republic of Vietnam, which is nowadays known as Socialist Republic of Vietnam. Most of Vietnamese adore him as a national hero, like other communist leaders do. Even there are many Vietnamese families having his picture on their authors. He is also the person that brings about many arguments between his opponents and proponents as well. He was born in 1890 in the North Vietnam, and then he left Vietnam to Western countries when he was still very young, with the dream of Vietnam's independence under French wartime. In his revolution life, he used many different names. He was lit and carried out revolution in France, America, Russia, China, and Thailand. And he was many, used many different languages of the world. In 1941, he turned back Vietnam to directly lead his party and to build up movements against France and Japan. In 1954, Viet Minh force led by Ho Chi Minh defeated French force at the decisive battle at Diet Minh Phu. However, Vietnam at that time was divided into two parts by DMZ region, like South and North Korea today. Welcome to Vietnam. From 1954 to 1975, Communist Party in the North, led by Hu Jinping, was supported by communist countries in the world, especially by Russia and China. They opposed South Vietnam's government, who surrendered freestyle and right wing. South Vietnam's government was supported by America and the Western. Ho Chi Minh died in 1969, and he had no chance to see the victory day in 1975 because of uh, the revolution he initiated and led. In 1975, the center of South Vietnam was renamed Ho Chi Minh City. There were also stairs and museums along Vietnam given him based on his. You see that he's greatly respected by Vietnamese. We call him Uncle Ho. However, many overseas Vietnamese today don't think so. They have opposite thought about Ho Chi Minh and today Vietnam's governments. Most of them watched South Vietnam when the war ended. Having his pictures means offense for the opponents. And about historical researchers? They consider him a god, therefore fair research about Ho Chi Minh is important. Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum, Ho Chi Minh Museum and his house on stools are among important sites in Hanoi, where his revolution life and his simple life are displayed. These three sites are in the region and opens every week. There are over 15,000 people visiting them every week, and his body was in burns for Vietnamese to commemorate him. The Tower is the place where he spends most of his time in Hanoi, not being like any other Vietnamese leader's house. It's simple and contains housing style of ethnic minorities of Vietnam. He had almost no personal property. He spends all of his life on political career to struggle for Vietnamese independence. He didn't get married to and was a chain smoker. That's all the information that we tell you about our first president in Vietnam. Goodbye and see you again.